All right, everyone. Today we're going to be talking about Varga Dragress and its Divine Skill. So this is the third official Divine Skill unit that we've gotten the full text for that's been revealed so far as of today, Saturday, February 3rd. So depending on when this is uploaded, maybe we'll have gotten the lyrical Divine Skill fully revealed by then. But for now, today we're going to be talking about Varga. So let's jump right into Varga's skill. Faded One of Unparalleled Varga Dragress. Auto once per turn. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, Counterblast 1. Retire all of you and your opponent's front row rear guards, and this unit gets 10,000 until the end of turn. At the end of the battle, stand this unit, and it gets drive minus 2 until the end of turn. Divine Skill. Auto. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked a grade 3 or greater unit. If your opponent's damage zone has four or more cards, and this unit has attacked two or more times, counterblast one, stand this unit, and it gets drive plus two until end of turn. So hypothetically, if you were to not get drag veda the first two swings, use your divine skill, and then get the two drive checks, and then proceed to get drag veda, you would still have twin drive again for a fourth vanguard swing. That's a big what if, but it is possible. So getting into the rest of the support for Varga, we're just gonna go right into the ride line. The starter, which is the same as every other starter. If you go second, you get to draw a card, Heated Blade, Arc Dart. The grade one, which is Blaze Ember Dragon. When this unit is rode upon by Boulder Axe Dragon, you can call this to Rear Guard and Soul Charge one. Rear Guard skills continuous during your turn if you have a grade three or greater Vanguard Varga in its name, this gets 2K power. So it's a good 10K booster. And it's a free rear guard, it's basically Forerunner, which is nice. Boulder Axe Dragon, which is the grade two for the ride deck. When this is rode upon by a grade three with Varga in its name, call this to rear. It also has a rear guard skill, which is when this unit attacks a vanguard. If you have a grade three or greater vanguard Varga in its name, this gets 5k power. At the end of that battle, retire this unit, draw a card. You're probably gonna be running four copies of this card. This card is just too good not to run a full play set of. The fact that you get a draw and you don't have to lose out on losing your own front row when you're attacking. Boulder Axe for sure, four of. For a common, too good. Then going into the support cards for Varga, we got a grade one common, which is Blaze Battle Monk Kofu. Continuous, if you have a grade three or greater Vanguard with Varga in its name, this gets 5k power, 5k shield. Very simple, generic support. Pretty decent for a budget build, so it can't go wrong with that. We got a grade three rare, which is really good. It's Abduracy Grave Dragon, continuous front row. During your turn, if you do not have another rear guard with the same card name as this unit in your front row, this unit cannot be retired by card effects. It also gets 10K power. Continuous, if you have a grade three or greater Vanguard of Vargas name, this gets boost. This is also another card that I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like a four of, like it seems too good. A 13K booster, a 23K beater that can't be retired. You know, I mean, who cares that you don't have to have another copy of it in the front row? That's pretty good just to have, you know, two copies in the deck or even three, just to be able to throw one down and have it there that can't be retired. And it's 23K base and you can stack all your triggers on it. For a rare, that's not bad. We also got a grade one, which is a double R in Pale Horn Dragon. Continuous during the battle, this unit boosted. If you have a grade three or greater Vanguard with Varga in its name, this gets 5K power. Second skill is auto. When this unit boosts a grade three or greater Vanguard of Varga in its name, it gets 2k power. At the end of the battle, Soul Blast 1, retire this unit, draw a card. I like this card a lot just because it seems like you're going to save it for the second Vanguard swing. You swing your Vanguard unboosted, 23k base, maybe you get some triggers, maybe you stack them on your van, you restand, you boost again, and you add another 15 to that, making it 38. No drive checks, which is fine, but 38 base is a really big number for your opponent to have to guard. So even if they drop the 43 shield so it doesn't hit, that's a lot of, you know, hand they gotta drop just for that swing. So I do like that there is a booster that makes your Vanguard really big on, you know, the second swing where you have no drive checks. The third support card, which is really good, is a grade two triple R, Drag Ritter Shura. When this unit attacks, you energy blast two. This unit gets 5k power until the end of battle. Choose one of your other rear guards with a different card game from this unit, and it gets auto. When this unit is retired from rear, you put this into your hand. Its second skill is when this unit is retired by the ability of your grade three or greater vanguard with Varga. If your opponent's vanguard is grade three or greater, counterblast one, call this to rear, and it gets 10k power. It's similar to like the Tachikaze decks. You retire a rear guard, and then you can counterblast one and bring it back which is really, really cool. So you can still multi-tack outside of just your Vanguard's second swing. What is that? You're only looking at anywhere between five to like seven attacks 
depending if you're going to be using the divine skill or not. That's a lot of attacks and a lot of pressure, especially when these units are getting 10k power on their own outside of Persona Ride. So on the Persona Ride turn, this is going to be way better. So now that we went over all the support cards, I'm going to give my overall thoughts about this deck. My favorite thing about Varga so far is that it has so many different Dragon Empire aesthetics from like the old Vanguard clans that I just love. It has Overlord aesthetic with the restand. It has Retire aesthetic, which is kind of like Tempest Bolt and Arakami. So it's got the Retire down. I love the fact that it, you know, retires both fields because that's kind of was Tempest Bolt's whole thing. Very, very Tempest Bolt aesthetic I'm seeing a lot with this deck. I just love it. I also love the fact that it has a lot of support cards that bring stuff back after they're retired. So it kind of reminds me of Tachikaze in that way. I love Varga Drag Rest. This deck looks so fun. I don't care if it sounds like I'm overhyping this deck. I think this deck is going to be really, really, really good. The fact that you get potentially three Vanguard swings, all the support seems really good. It's just you're plussing off of the fact that you're either retiring stuff or you're getting rid of your stuff before you retire your own units. And it feels like there's going to be a lot of hand pressure against your opponent that has to deal with all of these attacks. My one gripe is that it doesn't work with Drag Veda, which is kind of weird considering that you know, every other grade three works really well with the drag beta over trigger and there's nothing that kind of gets in the way of drag beta working. So if you swing on the first swing, twin drive, you get drag beta, your second Vanguard swing is kind of null and void and you already paid the cost, right? You attack, you counter blast one, oop, drag beta, oh well. You paid a counter blast for no reason. I don't think it's really worth it. I feel like it's better to run something like Edisfaro where you can get a crit, put all that power and crit onto your Vanguard, get something from drop to add more hand, and then you have a second Vanguard swing for 100 mil, no drive checks, but it's 100 mil and it has an extra crit, and then you can decide to use the divine skill for a third Vanguard swing with 100 mil just to keep up the pressure, and then with that second twin drive, you can put more triggers that you get on your rear guards that are available to you at that time, if you have any. It is a little weird that it doesn't work with Drag Veda, but I, I feel like Edis Faro is the one that people are gonna go with anyways. Which is weird because it's the first time that you would not use Drag Veda in a Dragon Empire deck. But overall, my final thoughts on this deck is it looks like a lot of fun. I feel like this deck's gonna be really good. I feel like it's probably gonna be high up in the meta. I could be wrong, but so far looking at this deck, it looks like a lot of fun and I'm really excited. I really wanna build this deck. Another thing I wanna mention is there are some decks that will probably have a better matchup against this when it comes to not having to worry about losing the front row. Uh, some things that come to mind are obviously Wellstra because you can operate order cards and then at the end of the turn they go back to the order zone so you don't lose them. Cards like Greed On where all your rear guards just get shoved into your soul anyways so you don't have to worry about losing your rear guards. Another example that just comes to mind, Keter Sanctuary, Cadwalla. At the end of the battle that it attacks, it retires itself and you can get something out of it. So there are some cards that get around the whole, oh, I don't want my front row to go away, but you know, it's, if, if you have a really consistent way of replenishing your rear guards, you probably won't have much of an issue with it. I think the biggest issue is you gotta get that hand size up because you're gonna be in for anywhere between four to seven attacks and you gotta be ready for it, especially because you could see four drive checks, potentially. But again, that's the cool thing about divine skills is they're once per game and you gotta find the right time for it, which I also think is the reason why I like Vargo so much. It seems to be the one divine skill that you can time it and you're like, I'm using it now and it looks like a lot of fun. Doesn't seem broken, doesn't seem unfair. A third restand for the fact that the second attack doesn't have any drive checks. I think this is a pretty well designed card, but that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think about the Divines meta so far. Do you think Varga is gonna be the best deck after this first set of Divines? Just kind of seeing with all the skills we've seen so far. Let me know what you think. I think Varga might actually be so far the best deck, besides maybe the lyrical card that we kind of know its skill a little bit. We have to see the full skill, just see how it works, but, and the rest of the support. But a Highlander deck that just has a bunch of power and multi-attacking seems pretty good, especially because all the lyrical cards are generically so good. But Varga seems like a good contender for the meta. That's all I'm trying to say. So that's it for me. I'm Richard, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.